Bermuda may be known for its pink sand beaches and folks zipping around on scooters, but deep beneath the surface of the Atlantic lives a voracious predator who gobbles down more than its fair share of food. It's not a shark, though. It's not even a squid. It's an invasive species called the lionfish that's eating its way across Bermuda's reefs. An invasive species is a species that's been injected into a habitat or to an environment that is not usually from. They tend to do a lot better and outcompete the native and the endemic species that are, that are supposed to be there. The Pacific lionfish is a classic example of an introduced invasive species. Um, in the Indo-Pacific, where it's native, it's supposed to be there. It's found its balance. Now that it's in the Atlantic, it's showing the invasive qualities and the fact that it's outcompeting and pushing the other native and endemics out. A study in the Bahamas revealed that a single lionfish can reduce the juvenile fish stock on a reef by 80% in just five weeks, considering Bermuda's reefs generate more than $700 million annually, according to a recent environmental department study, protection of the island's marine ecosystem is vital. Lionfish ended up in the Atlantic and the Caribbean waters basically by human error. It's, it's pretty much the pet trade. If you think about 700,000 lionfish are imported every year to the U.S., all it takes is little Billy's too big for his fish tank, we'll put him overboard, it's only one fish, no big deal. That happens once or twice and bang, you got a breeding population. I think lionfish have done really well in the Caribbean and the Atlantic so far because they don't have any natural predators here. Somewhere like the Bahamas, where it's warm the entire time, it's prime breeding habitat for these lionfish. So not only are they getting bigger, they're also producing a lot more eggs. Some of the work that's come out of the Bahamas is they reckon there some of these fish down there are producing 30,000 eggs every four days. That is staggering when you think that they're consuming everything off the reef and just populating at that sort of speed. Um, population of lionfish has done this, and the population of other things is starting to do this. I've been diving here in Bermuda about 24 years now. One of the things I've noticed over the last six or seven years is the incredible increase of the number of lionfish that we are seeing. Because these lionfish eat everything. They're not species specific in what they eat. They eat crab, shrimp, herbivores. A herbivore is the small parrotfish that keeps the reef alive. When you take those herbivores out of the ocean or out of the food chain, then the reef begins to die, what they call trophic cascade. We started Ocean Support Foundation as a direct result of the invasion of the lionfish into our local waters here. We thought we would form a non-for-profit charity to help get financial support so we could go out and begin to research what the invasion is going to be in Bermuda. Teams from the Ocean Support Foundation and the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences die for lionfish to capture and kill what they can. And while they've concluded they'll never get rid of the fish in these waters, they have decided the best way to win. Eat them to beat them. Eat them to beat them is, to me, is the, the best solution to dealing with this problem. This concept takes them from the reef, prevents them from reproducing further, prevents them from eating the juveniles, and on a positive note, they're safe and delicious to eat. This is a great opportunity for just the general public. Joe Glow can come see how to safely handle these lionfish, see how to uh, fillet them, how to cook them, as, and, and actually eat them. So they see it from, from catching all the way to consuming.